Hey guys, the main objective of this video is to find the settlement at any time. Uh, we're just going to first recap though the initial settlement, the consolidation settlement, the settlement at any time, and the final settlement. We're then going to be looking at the four cases which you guys could be given, and then once again we're going to do an example. So just a quick recap. In the first video we looked at this graph, I'm just quickly going to discuss it again because it is very important now. So we have... So we have the settlement against time. So this value here would be the settlement final. So the final settlement. Initially we're going to get a initial settlement, so SI, which would say be there. We also can call this S subscript C, which is the consolidation settlement, which means that settlement at any time, so say the settlement at this time, we'll call S subscript T. And we said that S subscript T, so the settlement at any time, is equal to the initial settlement plus U, the degree of consolidation, times by the consolidation settlement. So what we're going to be doing in this video is using this graph, which I'm going to explain in a second, to find U, the consolidation, degree of consolidation, which will help us find the settlement at any time. So just before we start, for these types of questions for 3D settlement, there's four cases which could be given. You can either have an impermeable footing and an impermeable base. You can have an imp a permeable footing and an impermeable base. You can have a permeable footing and a permeable base. And you can have a impermeable footing and a permeable base. So what do these all mean? So the so the footings could be permeable or impermeable. That will either be given to you or you're just going to have to assume what it is. So I mean, um, you could have a foundation at the top. You could have a um, embankment. You don't know what the surface is. You don't know what it really is. You, you're either going to have to be told or you're just going to have to assume what it is. The bases, though, you can almost always tell. For example, if we were to have a profile of soil, so we don't know what's happening up here necessarily unless they tell us, 